Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for SrNO3 2 plus Na3PO4. We have strontium nitrate and then we have sodium phosphate. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have three strontiums here and just one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the strontium nitrate. That balances the strontiums. So now I have two nitrates times three, that's six nitrates. So I'm gonna have to put a six in front of the sodium nitrate. Let's put a two here, two times three, that's six. That balances the six sodiums. We have two phosphates here. That's the balanced molecular equation, a little bit of work. Now we can write the state for each substance and that looks like this. So nitrates are very soluble. So these compounds here are very soluble and compounds with sodium, they're very soluble as well. Phosphates in general, are insoluble with a few exceptions and sodium phosphate that's an exception sodium phosphate is soluble but the strontium phosphate here insoluble we write a solid after it that means when these substances here react this falls to the bottom of the test tube as a solid it's a precipitate so we have the states now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation and we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations so we're going to keep our strontium phosphate together that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants here, I see six nitrate ions. I also see six nitrate ions here in the products. These are spectator ions. We're gonna cross these out, six sodium ions in the reactants and six in the products. Spectator ions, we cross them out, but everything else is unique. That makes this the net ionic equation for strontium nitrate plus sodium phosphate. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for the strontium nitrate and the sodium phosphate. You'll notice charge is conserved. We have three times two plus, that's six plus, two times three minus, that's six minus. So that all adds up to zero, net charge of zero. Strontium phosphate, that's a neutral compound, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for SrNO32 plus Na3PO4, strontium nitrate plus sodium phosphate. Thanks for watching.